So let's talk for a quick moment about words versus energy. My opinion, always, always feel out the energy. Because anybody can say anything at any time. Words can be empty. Words can be spells. And as I said, anybody can say absolutely anything at any time. But it is their energy that they cannot hide. People can say the most vile things with a smile on their face. People can lie with a smile on their face. People can say, I love you and not mean it, but they, their appearance seems very genuine and authentic when that's actually not the case. We have to learn how to discern the difference between words and energy. You know, I pride myself in being one who fills out people's energy. And nine times out of 10, when it comes to me, I do that best in front of someone. Someone has to be in my presence. Now you may be able to manipulate or mask your energy, like let's say for instance, over the internet. Let's say, you know, cause there's people out here who, especially with the internet, you can become whoever it is you wanna be. You can present yourself however it is you wanna present yourself. But in my particular situation, like my particular life, I'll just speak on me because I'm the only one I can speak on. Once you get in my space, once you are in the same space as me, that energy of yours cannot be hidden. You cannot hide your energy from me. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how much you smile. You can give me a hug and you can have the worst intentions in the world for me. I will pick up on that energy. I would love for people out here to pay closer attention to people's energy as opposed to their words. Because a lot of times, and it is unfortunate, but a lot of times people's words do not match their energy. They can say one thing and their energy says something totally different. I really would love for people to follow your energy. That is your intuition. Your intuition will never, and this is not my opinion, this is facts for me that intuition of yours will absolutely never ever 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 stare you wrong it never will you have to trust it so much and blindly that you let your intuitions become your eyes your ears your nose you let that intuition guide you you trust in that intuition for everything you trust that intuition for all things you understand that when it comes to things that you can see or hear or smell or whatever, you understand that there are individuals in the world who have mastered the art of manipulating people with their words. Their words are so convincing. Their body language even is convincing. They have mastered the art of manipulation. But the one thing they cannot master, and especially Again, I'll speak in my circumstance. You cannot master your energy around me because your energy is one of those it is what it is kind of scenarios. You cannot mask it. You cannot cloak it. You cannot shift it, shape it. You cannot do any of that. No matter what your body language says, no matter what words come out of your mouth, the energy will tell anything. Have you guys ever walked into a room and... You, you know, you're moving around a room, uh, socializing, and then you get around a person and the energy just shifts. There's something within you that's telling you there's something off about this person. And let's say this person comes up to you and smiles and shakes your hand and seems very pleasant, but your intuition is telling you there is something off about this person, please. Listen to your intuition. Do not second guess it. Do not see people for who you want them to be. Let their energy speak for itself. Trust your intuition. Trust what it is that your gut is telling you. Trust what it is. Whenever you feel that something is off, 
believe me something is off you may not be able to put your hands on it you may even feel paranoid to say well wow this person is very nice you know they're well put together you know their exterior seems trustworthy their words seem authentic but let me tell you that intuition knows better that intuition can pick up on that energy that intuition is there to protect you so never second guess your intuition never whenever your intuition is warning you about something or someone or whatever listen to your intuition at all times my intuition like i've said before it has saved my life on countless occasions you know i'm not going to separate myself from not listening to my intuition because i've done that i everything i speak of these are things that i've literally lived so i'm not pointing fingers at anyone because if i have to point a finger at you then look at all the fingers that's still pointing back at me so i've lived these things but thankfully i've learned about these things and i've learned how to do my best to try to outgrow these things because again once you know better you do better and i let my intuitions guide me it doesn't matter what a person says it doesn't matter the smile they try to put on their face the words that's coming out of their mouth if the energy does not match the words or the actions then you better believe i will follow my intuitions it doesn't matter how much i want to believe someone it doesn't matter how much i want to connect with someone my intuition will let me know that's not the person to believe that's not the person to connect to and that could be in any capacity. Everything that I speak about is not always having to do with relationships because relationships are with anyone as it, a friend, a coworker, a lover, anything. You know, you can work with someone and they seem pleasant, they seem quiet, they seem friendly, you know, they just seem like a sweetheart. But there's something within you, your intuition, the alarms are ringing, letting you know it's all a facade sometimes people don't even know themselves they don't even know that their energy is off they don't even know that they have internal work that they need to do and sometimes if you let's say your intuition warns you to stay away from someone and let's say you follow your intuition and do it sometimes people get offended when you move along sometimes people will lash out at you And it's unfortunate because it's almost as if people feel as if you don't have the right to move on. You don't have a right to follow your intuition. And you absolutely have every right in the world to follow your intuition because your intuition is there to protect you. Your intuition is there to protect you. So if your intuition tells you to leave someone alone or don't interact with someone or just move along with your life and just face forward and just keep living your life the way you need to and you must leave this person behind then that's what you have to follow so never let anyone make you feel like you're crazy because you follow your intuition never let anyone make you feel like you're crazy because you have come to terms with people's words do not match their energy and you just want to move along you want to follow your intuition and move along that doesn't make you crazy at all that's just my opinion but when it comes to intuition That's more than an opinion. I live by that. And hopefully everyone out there will learn to live by that gut feeling. I do feel like the majority of us out here, we ignore that gut feeling. We operate out of ego. Please follow your intuition. We're not crazy for following our intuition. Okay? Most certainly I'm not crazy for following my intuition. And neither are you.